We're back. Yay! Uh huh. And now we're gonna see the house of the merchant on Pietrzebulda, Mieszkowta. The house of the merchant Mieszkow is going to be on our left. The skies are just gorgeous. I've said it like five times already, but I just can't help myself because it's really beautiful. Yeah, now it houses a museum, right? Да, можно. Да, а на Сибирскую потом уже тогда. Да. Просто я думаю, как вернуться по коммунистически что-то интересного. Там лучше ничего совершенно там интересного. Там вообще ничего. Поэтому лучше по Сибирской, мне кажется, уйти, по компросу спуститься и там захватить галерею. А, сейчас же еще мы мимо зоопарка. Стоит снять хотя бы потому, что тут же кладбище церковное. Да, да, я знаю. Yeah, we're going to be back here. Now we're um, making a left turn to the... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So this is the start of Siberian Trail, which leads all the way to Siberia. A fun destination for many, many people in Tsarist Russia and later. Um, it's also one of the oldest streets in Perm. And also on our right, there will be a house where they used to keep one of the Romanovs. Yes, so this used to be a hotel. And as you could see in 1918, the um, Prince Michael Romanov used to um, stay here. Well, nothing good happened to um, to the Romanov's family in, in this part of Russia, so it's really all tragic, so I'm not going to talk a lot about that. This is a, a nice looking building on the left after reconstruction, and this completely unremarkable greenish yellow and, and pink building. Uh, which is the, the hotel called Centralne or Central. Um, here, um, yes, great ballet dancers like Ulanova used to stay, and also um, Aram Khachaturian used to not only stay but also compose in this hotel while he was staying here. Он не тут Спартака-то наваял? Да, да, да. Здесь же, да? Спартака? The, yes, не this is... Может быть, что-то другое. Uh, что-то он наваял из своих великих. Он наваял точно. Да, yeah. yes. So, we're, we're, we keep going. We, we couldn't remember which ballet Хачатурян composed while he was staying at that hotel. But he definitely did. That's for sure. Um, soon, we're going to cross Lenin Street and then we're going to be riding by my alma mater, which is Perm State Pedagogical University, um, which also has a very interesting history. And unfortunately, the building that I used to study in was um, suffered greatly, was damaged in fire a few years back. But it, it's, um, it's a remarkable building because Shalyapin sang in that building. And um, uh, one of Russian czars was in that building because it belonged to Sviyazev, a great architect who built, who, I mean, engineered and, and supervised construction of so many buildings in Perm. So I used to study in a historic building, um, wooden, unfortunately. So that's why it, it was basically burned down during the fire. So that's Lenin Street for you. I'm sorry I'm panning so fast, but what can you do? Yay! Sibirska Street. I'm taking pictures on the go. This is the one or two um, level houses uh, area. 
Um, well, because it's old. So a couple of people asked me, oh, is Perm really, well, does Perm really not have any tall buildings? Well, people, it does, but not in the historic part, of course. Because this is the merchant um, area where middle class Perm citizens used to live and shop back in the day. And by back in the day, I mean mostly 19th century. Television! Woohoo! Петербург? Окей, okay, interesting. Что? Проехала телевизионная этот, э, машина, сейчас просто завернула, и написано телерадиоканал Петербург. We're not in St. Petersburg, if anyone's wondering. Hugo Boss. A remarkable citizen of Perm. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. I'm just trying to catch everything. This is this used to be the uh, Pioneer's Palace. Then now it's um, Palace of Childhood. Well, this is the art center for kids and youth. Oh, and that's my mom calling. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, while I was growing up, they were building it and building it and building it forever. But finally they, they, they finished and um, I managed to even attend some of the workshops here. And this building on the left is, I mean this, uh, the one with columns. These columns are empty inside and this, they are wooden because it's a really, 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 really old building. This used to be some kind of an assembly back in the day. And these used to be mansions. Okay. Yeah, this is Diaghilev's house. And I mean Diaghilev. Yeah, it's that Diaghilev. Diaghilev season, Russian seasons and all that. He used to live here for a while. This building um, houses his museum and um, a secondary school after his name these days. And this building on the left is my university. Well, it's not the building that I, I was talking about. It's just the main building of it. But my, oh, on the right, the, this, this ruin used to be the brewery. This used to be the beer brewing thing. Um, well, many years ago. The, uh, this green one, look at this green one. That's my building. <laughs> this is Faculty of Foreign Languages. Well, it used to be, not anymore. Because now there's nothing there because it was burned down. Um, this is Gorky Park. Every Russian town has Gorky Park. And this used to be the, the actually, the, this is the sort of the frontier. And the way to Siberia started there, and we just passed, unfortunately, um, a set of buildings where that used to be like a hostel where people used to stay for a while and change horses and things like that on the way to Siberia. This is one of the arenas, one of the uh, ice arenas, where um, future world figure skating champions are being trained. Were, were being trained. Not anymore, I guess. They moved somewhere else while this is being reconstructed. Or if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and I'm sorry. <laughs> but actually, this is where, um, where they breed Russian figure skaters, um, young ones, the children, mostly. A lot of new buildings around. And well, there's also a mall not far away. All right. Кукол. Кукол-то у нас тюрьма был, да, ведь? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. А Лаков кладбище. Мы как раз по кварталу поедем, что там древное кладбище. А, На какая? его месте сейчас вот дома. Uh -huh. Газет звезда. Прелесть какая. Да, отлично. Любят у нас на кладбище что-нибудь сообразить. Отлично. Oh, this is being reported. Okay. Um, soon we'll approach. Oh, this is the monument for the... Uh, 
heroes of World War II. Um, the tank. This is the officer's palace. As you can see, it dates to 1943. And an ugly looking tower behind it, which is just a residence. I mean, it's a res yeah, it's a residence house, like apartment building. Um, and we will be riding by the puppet theater, which used to be, you know what? Right, a prison. Um, what's the logic? I don't know, but that's perm for you. Um, also, there used to be the prison cemetery around it. And now, go figure, there are just houses, residential buildings. And uh, we'll also be, well, okay, I'll tell later when we approach that. I'll tell you where it is. Um, it's gonna be on my right. So that, um, you can see this pretty looking modern building and then you can see another one and that's and that's exactly it all right so this is it this is it yeah puppet theater puppet theater prison no puppet theater okay all right and we're leaving this place end of this part